about to start the Kokoda track tomorrow and I guess I'm just kind of thinking what on earth is this going to be like? I've, I've heard little stories, I've been, yeah, given, given all kinds of helpful information from friends and family, but I, I guess I just have no idea what, what I'm in for. We are about to start. This is the beginning of the trek here. Feeling really nervous, but really excited about what's to come. Really excited to see all the beautiful, you know, sights and scenery bits along the way. But yeah, I can't wait to finally get going. about Kokoda was steep hills uh, and it was really muddy. That's all I really knew. I didn't know how beautiful it was. I mean, I think the word mud just made me think that everything was, you know, and there's just such incredible vegetation and everything. I, it's really funny, you go through all these villages and they look completely different. Some of them are very sort of tropical and could almost be right beside a beach. You go through some and one reminded me of The Wizard of Oz, like there's such different scenery um, and that's really, really beautiful. Every day's been so different. where I've kind of gone, why did I do this? This is so hard. But I guess that's it's almost the fun of it. It's, you know, you've achieved something, you got to the top of that hill. The self-satisfaction of knowing that you've gone and done something that not that many you know, women have attempted before is awesome. And I, I really believe that what Laura and I are doing is totally dispelling the myth that women can't do it, you know. In terms of facilities, um, when you have a shower, it's a really good day. The other days, it is washing in the, the, uh, the stream, but the water there is really clean, and I actually preferred that. So I have gotten my hair wet and washed my face every single night here, and I've had a swim. Don't, don't even. Erin, <laughs> on the other hand, has promised me that tonight she's going to wash. Do it. She's going to wash her hair. So she's come prepared, she's brought a shampoo down here. It's really cold. I've decided that the best way to stay warm is to sponge bath and then to literally like dunk my head, wash it, and then be done with it. Because I think if I submerse my whole self, I'll just I'll just freeze. So, um... Oh my god! You want me to help you? I'll fall. No, no. no I, I can't. Can I stay on this one? I can't. I can't get on the other one. No, not okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but see like all the logs move at different times and there's... She's a little better at this than me, just a little. It's definitely challenging, but I think um, each day because you've already done something that you th didn't think you could do, the next day you go, you know what, I can get through it. And I, I feel like it kind of gets, I don't know that it gets easier, your body still hurts, yeah. but um, you know you'll get through it. And I think one of the most amazing things about this track as well is the fact that you are learning so much about this pinnacle part of Australian history that to be honest I didn't really kind of know too much about. There's almost like a, a really strange feeling around like you, you do feel 
like there is a presence, like some, you know, that people have lost their lives here. And um, it's really quite emotional and so many times on the track when it's tough, you just realise that they were doing what we're doing, plus carrying a whole heap of things, plus not knowing when they were going home. You know, you can't even begin to imagine. I've even loved how tough it is because it feels so good when you finish. <laughs> it's really tough physically, but mostly mental, like getting up every day and doing the exercise is, um, you know, it, it, they're, they're long days, but I think it's worth it. Oh, this is a deep one. Oh, hello. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I knew that I would enjoy it because it's going to beat a week back at home, you know, sort of lounging around doing work and that sort of thing at home. When I said that I'd, I'd do Kokoda, I thought, you know, it'd be a great experience, something that I look back on and go, I can't believe I did it. But I wouldn't have thought of it necessarily as a great holiday. And um, it's one of the best holidays I've ever done. How good was that? It's so good. That is sensational. Oh yeah, completely life changing. I don't think I'm the same person I was as when I left somewhere, apparently, all the, all the way over that way behind me. But, you know, incredibly moving experience, and I'm so grateful that I was given the opportunity to do this. Probably the most incredible experience of my life, if I'm totally honest with myself. So. I feel like, you know when you're like 11 or 12 and life's just easy, you wake up and you're comfortable with who you are and you're confident, I feel like it's kind of brought that back to me. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm back to that again, but have learnt so much more along the way. Kakata is a metaphor for life, you know, there's a lot of hills, a lot of ups and a lot of downs. It's how you deal with those ups and downs in life and, um, and Kakata is great for that. And it's, you come here with the right, right attitude and uh, the right mindset and um, it's going to be life changing for you. I want to come back. I'd um, love to come back with a group of friends. I'd even come back on my own if I can't get any girls in there with me, but I'm sure I can. Mm -hmm.